Hello everyone, welcome to MBA Karo. One of the topics which has created a buzz among SNAP aspirants is lexicographic order. Uh, uh, like uh, there were a few questions in SNAP test one based on this concept and uh, students uh, could not understand what it is. Although the questions there were simple that it meant alphabetical order. But in case if it asks for numerical values, there is a different concept. So watch this video to understand what is lexicographic order and there is a chance that in the subsequent slots they might ask questions on it. So I am presenting a few questions based on this concept including the number based ones as well as the word based ones and hence uh, that will help you prepare for this topic. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and follow us on social media platforms. Let us first understand what is lexicographic order. Okay, It is a way of arranging things in on the basis of their alphabetical order Okay, or how they appear in a dictionary. So when words are given, so you can easily arrange them in an alphabetical order. Like suppose these are the words. Now we see that there are two words that start from A, but when we consider these two words, we look for the second letter. First letter is same, we look for the second letter. So second letter is G and P. So G comes before P, so agency will come first and then apple. Now boot, banana and book. So B comes, uh, B is the first letter, A comes first, so banana will come first. Now boot and book. So first three letters are same in both the cases. K comes before T. So boot, book, sorry, it should be book first and then boot. Okay. So this is how we arrange the words in lexographic order. Now what happens when we have numbers? Okay. So numbers, the thing is slightly different. You do not have to arrange in ascending order. Remember this thing very important that it is not ascending order. How we do it is like we have in alphabets, we see in digits. So let us say in this case, the first digit is one. Okay. The smallest digit is treated as one. So one, two, three, one, eight. We have two numbers. Okay. Although if it was a number based thing, you would say that like 18 will be the first number, but you will look at the second digit. Here the second digit is 2, here the second digit is 8. So 1, 2, 3 will come first and then we will have 1, 8. Now if you look at the numbers from 2, 1 is 2, 4, 1 is 2, 4, 5. So this will come first and then this will be the next. When we talk about the numbers starting with 3, so we have 3, 1, 3, 3, 4, 9, 1 and 3, 5. You do not have to arrange them on the basis of the number of digits. Like large number is not arranged later or first, uh, the smallest number is not arranged first. It is based on the digit like 3, 3 ke baad 1 is the least digit. So this will come first and then this will come 3, 4, 9, 1 and then this will come. So if you have to arrange these numbers, you will get this as the arrangement. Like 1, 2, 3, 1, 8 because both starting with 1. 2 comes before 8. Similarly, 2, 4 is common. There is nothing. So it will come first. 5 will come later. 3, 1, 3. 3 comes first. In 3, 1 will come before 4 and 4 will come before 5. Irrespective of the number of digits in the number. So this is what lexicographic order means. So let us solve some problems that were tested in SNAP as well as some problems which I have created on my own just for you to understand this concept. So don't forget to like this video. Arrange the following months in the reverse order of the number of days in them. If multiple months have the same number of days, arrange them in lexicographic order. So this was a question which was asked in SNAP 23. Now how to arrange them? So first of all, we will find the we have to arrange in the reverse order of the number of days in them. So first of all, we will find the months that have 31 days and then 30 days and we are also given February. So February has 28 or 29. So February will come in the end. So last month 3 year, that is fine. Now we will start with the months that have 31 days. August has 31 days. July has 31 days. 
okay december has 31 days now if multiple months have same number of days arrange them in lexicograph order so august then uh, we have august december and july so august will come first one then december because a and then d and then j 162 so this should be the order 162 then we have april and september so a comes before s so 4 5 and in the end we will have february so this is the order in which the six months will be arranged next question if the days of the week are arranged in lexicographic order which day will be two days after monday so you can expect such kind of questions in the coming slots okay since they have tested this concept maybe they might test they might not test they might test uh, in 24 25 kabhi bhi like in the future also some people might be watching this video let's say 2024 video dekh rahe honge kyunki is saal wala ne 22 ke videos dekhi hai so could be a possible question so days of the week okay so let's write the days monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday so sabse pehle aata hai fastest finger first karte hain sabse pehle aayega friday okay then we have uh, f ke baad aayega m n o p q r s so saturday will be the third then sunday then thursday and tuesday and wednesday will be the end one okay now it says which day will be two days after monday so monday is the second day we have to find the fourth day so fourth day is sunday so the answer is none of these okay snap is known for giving none of these as the options so the answer is sunday well let's see the next question this was again a question asked on snap this time and <coughs> it was a tricky one because you have to read a lot and then solve it uh, probably the most uh, time consuming question in uh, this okay all right so here's the question which says that uh, there are two lists l1 and l2 arrange l1 in a logical order and l2 in reverse lexicographic order what is the sum of the terms in the list okay for example they have given that if l1 is arranged as this and l2 is arranged as this so you need to add the corresponding terms like 1 plus 3 is 4 2 plus 4 is 6 and so on okay so we need to arrange these in <coughs> first list in logical order second list in reverse lexicographic order okay so logical order kya banata hai like if you look at this list first of all we will have a seed so seed is numbered one okay seed will convert into a plant plant will become a tree okay tree is cut by a carpenter carpenter will make table from it and you have dinner on that table so the order is 3 4 6 1 5 2 now we have to arrange this in reverse lexicographic order so here tree will come first then we will have seed then after seed we will have plant after plant we have germination germination post germination will have fruit and last we will have flower we get we have to arrange it reverse lexicographic that means reverse alphabetical order so we have this six three two four one five and when we add these we get nine seven eight five six seven which is this option so this was a question which was asked in snap this year so again two questions from the examination and a few questions of my own well let's see the next question <clears throat> now this is an interesting one and uh, like i'll tell you how to solve it it says all the three element subsets of the set one two three four five are arranged in lexicographic order the seventh set is now we have to make sets of three out of these numbers right so first of all we will start with one two three that is the first set now we cannot leave like if you think of arranging them in alphabetical order now we cannot leave we can have one and two we will leave three we will pick the next one that is four so second number will be one two and four 
okay now we will try to find keeping one and two constant let us find the third number that is one two five now we have used one and two combination of one and two now we will take combination of one and three so first term that is the fourth number is one three four then next number will be one three and five now we have used all combinations of one and three one three four one three five now we will use one four so we have only one number which is one four five okay now we are done with one four five now we cannot have any set with three elements starting from number one so we will start with two so we will start with two three four we will pick the first three numbers that is two three four and we are asked the seventh element of this set so the seventh element is two three four so this is how we arrange subsets in lexicographic order so we saw how to arrange words easiest how to arrange numbers how to arrange subsets let us solve another interesting question world cup is over but uh, cricket fever never fades away so here's uh, this code card shows the number of runs scored by 11 batsmen in a match so these are the scores of the players and uh, then their coach must have appeared on snap or uh, uh, like went through snap paper and then decided to ask them to bat in the lexicographic order of the runs scored by them in this match okay so uh, how many players will bat between rohit and jaspreet so we need to arrange these in lexicographic order and find out how many players will bat between rohit and jaspreet interesting question so rohit obviously if you see starting from 1 this is the first number and this is 104 this is the first number 104 so first is done then after this we have a couple of numbers starting from 1 like 15 and 18 okay no need to write their names we just want how many players will bat between them so one says sare numbers okay then we will find how many people starting from 2 so we have kuldeep will come first and then after kuldeep we will have shubhman and surya kumar And then something will start from 3, no number from 3. So we'll have the next person that is Jaspreet. And among Jaspreet and Ravindra, Jaspreet will come first. Now, how, like if the number is ending before, let's say if you're talking about a word, right? In a dictionary, A comes before A, S. Okay, why? Because it has only one letter. So like this, you have to consider these alphabets. Okay, treat numbers as alphabet form. So, 4 will come before 47. Okay. So, 4 will come here and it is asking Rohit and Jaspreet. So, Jaspreet is this person. This is Rohit and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 players that will bat between them. Okay. So, this will be the order. So, now you can find the order of all batsmen and you will find that Virat will be the last man that will play. And uh, no, so no, not Virat. We're, after Virat, we will have Siraj as the last player. So anyway, he's, Rohit is the first and Siraj is the last in any case. Virat will move down to number 10 as per this lexicographic arrangement. Okay, so these were, uh, this was the concept of lexicographic order and a few questions based on them. Uh, alphabet based, number based and a combination of them. So I hope you found this session useful and you learned a new concept from it. So don't forget to like this video. And in case you are preparing for SNAP and are looking for mock tests uh, for SNAP 2 and 3, you can purchase our mocks. The link is given in the description of this video. And not only this, there are two questions, although I have not created the options, you answer in the comments of this video. If the months of the year are arranged in reverse lexicographic order, how many months are there between July and August? And the second question is, Arrange the first 10 prime numbers in lexicographic order and find the average of the first four numbers. So solve these two questions and answer in the comments of this video. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you must have found this video useful. So don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.